Barbados is beautiful. Barbados is a paradise. I mean, Barbados is a piece of art. Look closely to the map of Barbados. It looks like an Africa turned upside down. So should I say, walk up to the source region of Africa? I am so glad I went on this journey to connect the SUS region of Africa and coming to the Caribbean, especially Barbados, a lot of good things have happened to me. And believe me or not, you clicked on this video because you saw the Prime Minister on the thumbnail. This came as a surprise to me and I'm so glad that this is happening. <laughs> I don't know what I have to say at the moment. Like, are you nervous? Always nervous when you're meeting leaders, you know, especially leaders that are more influential in their country and out of their country. And uh, knowing that um, she accepted to meet me, it's a great honor, right? So, yeah, I can't wait to meet her one on one. And uh, at the end of the day, let's see what comes out of it. But at the moment, I'm just a bit. Uh, just trying to get ready for it because initially it was just meet and greet mm -hmm. you know i just thought i'm gonna just see her oh hi my name is maya i know you village boy from ghana and i go back we take a photo and i go but i just go there she wants to talk about africa and are you going in and shorts shorts a short in the top <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hey. It's afternoon. <laughs> He's even confused. He's crazy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here. Should I say I'm nervous once again? No way. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. A little bit. Um, I'm here to meet the Prime Minister of Barbados and today is actually my last day in the country I thought it's last day for the last time the other time was never the last time I, I never I never thought this day would come but the day is here and it's happening and the fact that it's not even happening in his in her office but rather her residence makes me feel so special man because if someone invites you to a house which means you are so welcomed. You know what? No time to talk too much. Let me just go and uh, I'll get back to you guys, man. Ah, why is so nervous? Oh my God. This is the before. We'll come back with the after. I'm so excited for Maya. This is crazy. So we are here very quiet um, the only person we've seen is the guard at the gate and that's it wow after look at Maya looking fly oh my 10 over 10 1 over 10 <laughs> just give me 1 over 10 I say 10 over 10 I, I don't want you look so 10. sharp I'm so proud of you babe just, just give me 1 over 10 it's Ooh, okay. but you rarely dress like this though nah. only only for prime ministers <laughs> The only way to get Maya to wear an official shoe is when he's meeting a prime Actually, minister or president. Wow. The only one. The only one. It's yeah. not true. Wow. You look smashing. And wow. I, I, am, I am really offended that he didn't dress like this even for can me. Can you imagine why? No, can you imagine? no. Can, 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 can you believe that when I met Masha, it was Christmas season. Mm -hmm. So Masha was actually looking more popping than she is looking right now. <laughs> I don't even know why she's saying that I didn't dress like this for her. Because anytime I meet Masha, she's in African clothes, super late. How many? Hello. Hello. 
Yeah. yeah, you guys have been saying we've been having such an amazing time in Barbados, and it's thanks to Marshall. Marshall. Everything. So Every, we are everything. super grateful. Everywhere you want to go, just pick up the phone and say hi, Marshall, and the rest is sorted. She, <laughs> uh, Maya said yesterday that she's our rich aunt in yeah, Barbados. Yeah, rich aunt in Barbados. Oh. Anything, anything that you want. But hey, just for me, don't come and say where is Marsha, please. <laughs> This is our court, the grounds of the official residence of the Prime Minister of Barbados. Uh, officially opened in 1919. It was designed uh, by the wife of a former governor of Barbados. Um, and he named it Elaro uh, after a town in Nigeria. Really? Yeah, it's named Elaro. So the reason that he called it Elaro, he spent time in Nigeria. Nigeria. I was so impacted by what he saw that. You know, he named it Alara Court, and it really ties back into our history with Africa. Yeah. Uh, so here we are in the grounds, a um, few gazebos. We have the official residence behind us, um, and it's been the official residence of every prime minister. Now, prime minister doesn't necessarily have to live here, yeah. but it's the official residence. So okay. over time, you've had prime ministers who did call it home, hmm. and some who didn't. Uh, the current prime minister, obviously, the Honorable Mia Moore Motley, and uh, she uses it more as a means to, you know, meet guests, but at the same time, from time to time you have different organizations using mm. the grounds and learning about the history so it's really a blend now of Barbadians coming here mm. getting to experience what a Lara Court is about potentially meet with the Prime Minister and learn uh, something that can help them obviously. Well, we have a limited edition Rihanna book that uh, she would have gifted the Prime Minister of Barbados. So it's a catalog of Rihanna throughout her time as an artist. Obviously, Rihanna Barbados is pretty synonymous. Mm. You've had a chance to go to Rihanna Drive. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. yes, yes. And I'm actually the cousin of Rihanna, by the way. You? I'm, a, I'm the cousin. The cousin? Wow. This is good. I mean, I, I guess like Rihanna has touched this and I'm also touching it. <laughs> I made it in life, bro. It's so cool. Yes, and again, you'll see different representations of Barbadian history from time to time here. A lot of art pieces that come from Africa as well. The Prime Minister, once again, is really interested in that reconnection. So the PM is in already. And uh, yeah, getting ready to meet her. Uh, so I say I'm a little bit nervous, but no, not nervous. I mean, this is what am I? I gotta do this, man. I'm good. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. I've been watching your stuff. I saw I couldn't meet with you on your last trip, no? no I know it's good that you actually made the time to meet me this time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really a pleasure. I've been a big fan. Love I was. Oh wow! Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's from it's... Yeah, from Ghana. Did you see that? Yeah. You, you know chocolate? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's chocolate. I'm so glad that I'm wearing a brand that everyone knows. <laughs> no, nice to meet you. So how's it been? Ah, so far so good. I'm just waiting for my Barbadian passport. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know how it's going to be and how long I have to wait for it. Uh, we have a new immigration bill coming, so you'll find out soon. Oh, right. Yeah. I am really a big fan. I, I was supposed to meet you in a um, Minix Security Conference, uh, oh. I, but I think you, you didn't come yeah, I around. Could, I could yeah, be because it's too difficult. I had know? so many questions yeah. for you that time, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, when they told me that she's not coming, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's yeah, not gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I take two questions. Though. Yeah. Okay. But can I? Tell me. I, I have just two questions. Yeah, that's what I've okay. seen you, you go to Africa a lot. Why are you always in Africa? No, uh, why not go to Africa? I mean, we have traditionally been focused since being transplanted here on going to the North Atlantic countries. And it's about time that we bridge the Atlantic again. Um, when we came to office, we made it clear that we wanted to reclaim our Atlantic destiny. Um, the Atlantic is to my east. And the only thing that is between Barbados and Africa is ocean. So yep. that the most natural place to go is to Africa. Apart from anything else, historically, this is where we've come from. Culturally, this is affecting. Um, most of our values have been shaped um, 
by being African, our food, our language, our behavior, our rhythm, everything. And it would be a travesty that when we have control of our own destiny, that we don't seek to correct the wrong things and to ensure that we can bridge the gap. How are we bridging the gap? By literally trying to make sure that first of all we bring awareness. The second thing that we need to do and we're trying to work on that now is how do we create the opportunities for transport. You or my people should not need to apply for a transit visa to come and visit one another. And if you are denied a transit visa in the US or the UK or Europe, then we are becoming victims of our own territories. Yeah. So that we need as independent countries to be able to determine that we can control where we go, how we go, when we go. And therefore, the modalities of transport have to be conquered. If we can do that for people, then we can do it for goods. We, we, I think we need more Africa and Caribbean connection. Absolutely. Because that, I, when that's I, what you're doing, aren't you? No, I'm trying my best. It's and it's more like a, oh wow. <laughs> I guess she's a fan. Then. I think that's that's the end of the video. But <laughs> <laughs> your excellency, I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I call I, me Mia, please. Oh wow, Mia. Wow, sheesh. First name. Like I, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> we personally. I think the connection between Africa and the Caribbean mm -hmm. should not be too diplomatic sometimes because I feel like the ordinary Africans really don't know what is happening in that's the Caribbean. Why, that's why you are important because it can't only be at the level of governments. It can't only be at the level of big business. It has to be at the level of ordinary people. If you go and ask Bajans what movies they were watching seven, eight, nine years ago, They'll tell you it's a lot of the Nollywood movies Nollywood, from right. Nigeria. Yeah. Yep. So that's ordinary people. Mm -hmm. um, but can the ordinary people get across the Atlantic? No, they can't. They're the mm -hmm. ones who are being denied the transit visas. They're the ones who may want to come, but cannot come because you can't get there. So we've got to create the bridges, the sea bridges and the um, air bridges in order to let people and goods flow. But you don't think we need that direct flight? That's what I'm talking about. When but I I'm saying it's, it's, taking, it's taking quite yeah, a long time. But you have to have people on both sides ready to it. And we're prepared to invest in the marketing, but we need people on the other side of the Atlantic also ready to do it. Because while we say we want it, as you know, you have to promote and market. Hmm. If you don't promote and market, the seats will be what? Empty. empty. And if the seats are empty, the flights will be canceled. Mm -hmm. So it's that mechanism. But there's also a very technical problem one of the things that happened in the last few years with COVID and the stopping of movement of planes, the same number, is that a lot of airlines are in fact awaiting planes. Hmm. And a lot of airlines are awaiting access to time to train pilots on the simulators. So in a very real sense, even though we want to move with pace hmm. and haste, we're still constrained by what is available in terms of both planes as well as pilots. Don't you think it's about time we have the Caribbean as uh, a seat in the African Union? Oh, well, we already recognize as part of the sixth region of yeah. the diaspora. And as you know, we started the CARICOM AU yeah. conferences, um, was it two years ago? Yeah. yeah. And then in the last year, that painting came from us, from the president of the Africa Exim Bank on his first oh. visit. Yeah. And in less than 18 months, we were able to have the first Africa-Caribbean Trade and Investment Forum here. We had the second one in Guyana a few yeah, months ago yeah, in yeah. October. Um, we've been able to have the Africa Exim Bank establish its offices here in Barbados as regional headquarters. Um, we are now working with other banks in Africa who want to be able to establish in the Caribbean. And that's where you'll see it start first because if people are comfortable with banks that they know, just like Republic Bank is in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Republic Bank is a Trinidadian entity. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and, and just as they're there, people will feel comfort with those institutions and brands that they know. So we only see more and more activity happening. Um, we were constrained by COVID. Had we not had COVID, I think we would be much further ahead. Um, but the movement of information, the movement of people, that's where it's at.
Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so my much. brother. Thank you. Can and I? when you're coming back for crop over? Yeah, I'll come back for crop over, depending on Masha. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm waiting uh, for an invitation for Masha. Oh, wow. Come. Full stop. I'll you be know? here. Because crop over is different. Oh, okay. Yes. You, know, you were here for Christmas, but crop over is completely different. Yeah, I'll come for And crop when over. you're coming, you can tell a whole set in Ghana to come too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can Take I get care. a photo? This is his wife, of course. Trudy. Hello. Good to meet Trudy. you, my nice dear. How are you? you? Thank you. That was really a quick one, but it was so worth it because it was more like a, a meet and greet because she's so busy, so she decided to give us some five minutes with her, which I appreciated a lot. And I mean, the way she was even talking to me, it felt like uh, I'm talking to a friend because she's also a fan. My goodness, knowing that a prime minister is a fan of you, bro. I've made it in life, bro. You know, she was talking to me like she watches my videos. So. <laughs> She says she watches your video, not like she watches it, she does. That was crazy. Uh, and and, and I, at some point, I was, I was like... My, my was just trying to digest. Yeah. Like, it's like you and, forgot and you, where you, you know, are. Like, you know, like you have a short time and you have to digest everything. But don't worry, this was the first introduction. And uh, we'll be back for more. I know. And then I just wanted to tell you guys, she's so cool. She's so humble, so down to earth. She's such yeah. a nice person. Very. Like, what do you have to say about your experience? How was you know, she to you? Because me, I was kind of freaking out, but she came, the energy was so warm. You mean like and she was like, holding wow. me? I'm like, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh my you know, goodness. Like, I'm not ready for she this feels, right She makes you feel so comfortable. Yeah, but it was so good. It was so good. God I mean, bless her. And then you can tell she cares about her country. The things yeah. she was saying, you know. Ah, oh, God bless her. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Tell us know what you thought about it. And um, yeah. I'm just so happy, man. This year is going to be a good year. It, it, started, how it, started, it, it started on a very positive note. Mm -hmm. You know, can you believe it? Like, we coming, coming from Suriname, Suriname Airways is like, we're paying your flight ticket. We go here, Marshall is like, we're giving you Hilton. The Marshall is like, oh, we're going to meet uh, DJ Kali. After DJ Kali, we are going to meet the Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. She's what next? I don't even know. I don't even know, but I'm so grateful.